It's uh, crazy, hectic and chaotic for us, but it looks like not everybody knows it, notice it. It's done with the players, by the players, hands on, court to cool. It's really lovely to be here with um, our people, essentially, people that are into bike polo. I'm very glad to have uh, 15 American teams here, four teams from Australia, and the rest of all the teams is from Europe. So it's like, I need 20, it's like 78 teams from Europe. So, it's a lot. <laughs> like polo is not a real sport, it's more a game. So you cannot use to, you know, fit yourself. The UCI wants us to join the International Cycling Federation, but because of there's so much blood doping going on that we decided to not go with them for now. Beer is like really one of the best examples of bike polo. It's hard, it's spectacular, and you can do nice actions. Playing together as a team is real cool, it's like a friendship thing. Oh, there's so much, there's so, it's got so much depth to it. Bike plus mullet plus, plus beer, beer right? equals bike equals polo. Like polo. <laughs> <laughs> we're, like, we're like a big family. It's kind of, still kind of underground, but um, growing, fast growing. I think there's like 250 cities now. And last year, as far as I know, there was about 100. So. never seen bike polo before and to come and watch it is really funny but also we are impressed by how skillful it is. We, we talked strategy for about four minutes before our first game. If it, was, it, was it actually four minutes? Yeah, maybe, it maybe 30 seconds. Uh, yeah. American teams play rougher than we play here in Europe and there's always like if they meet in a game then it's always some complaints about that. We're not looking to put you down. This is a, a buffer of separation for our both of our safety. Yeah. That's how we see it. Uh, we have to find uh, something in between to get along with each other. But uh, I think we're doing a pretty good job. Thank <laughs> you.